Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. This is Dr. Lokesh here behind the voice with Dr. Ram behind the lens. In this video, the topic to be discussed is a very basic yet an inevitable topic in the field of dental radiology and this video will be very useful especially for the beginners and in between the video I have added few hacks so don't miss them watch the entire video. Today we are going to see what are the contents of a dental x-ray film packet. If you feel this video informative kindly like and share the video and consider subscribing the channel. Let's go into the video. First let us see what are the different types and sizes of the intraoral films which are available and also their corresponding uses. There are basically there are three types of intraoral films which are periapical films, bite wing films and last the occlusal films. And coming to the size, different sizes which are available, they are the first one is size 0 of the size 22 into 35 mm and it is used for making the periapical radiographs for small children and also bite wing radiographs for of the posterior teeth in small children. The second one is size 1 of the size 24 into 40 mm which is used for making the periapical radiographs of the anterior teeth in adults and also used for making the bite wing radiographs of the posterior teeth in children as well as of the anterior teeth in adults by placing it vertically. Size 2 it is a standard film size of size uh, 32 into 41 mm which is used for making the periapical radiographs of adults and also it is used for making bite wing radiographs of the posterior teeth in adults. And last it is the size 3 which is only uh, uh, available for bite wing projection that is 27 into 54 mm and this is narrower than the size 2 and it is used to demonstrate all the posterior teeth of one side. Next talking about the occlusal radiograph it is of the size 57 into 76 mm and this is used for making the occlusal radiographs of the mandible or maxilla. And moving on to our topic of today that is the components or contents of an x-ray film packet. So an intraoral x-ray film packet contains either one or two sheets of the film inside. When it is a double film packet, the second film is used as a duplicate record. But in India mostly we use single film packets. The x-ray film which is used for intraoral radiography is of direct exposure type because this type gives higher resolution images than the screen film combination ones. The diagnostic task like uh, detection of an incipient caries or early periapical disease requires or demands this kind of high resolution and hence direct exposure type is used for intraoral radiographies. There are four components in an intraoral x-ray film packet. The first component is the wrapping which you see from outside. It is the outer white paper or the plastic wrapping which is made up of soft vinyl or a paper material and a film packet has two sides. They are the tube side and the label side. This tube side which is completely white here should be always facing the x-ray tube and the other side is called as the label side which is the back side of the film and from where you can open the film packet during its processing. It has labelings like speed of the film and a note saying opposite side to a tube. E or an ecta speed film is used over here as it is superior in the diagnostic point of view. And here is an hack for you people. So can you see this tongue like flap on the label side? So make sure that this is always facing the tongue of the patient. By doing this you may not go wrong with the placement of the film while making a radiograph. On the tube side in the corner of the outer plastic wrapper it has a small raised dot called as the embossing dot. This is used for film orientation like to find out which quadrant or an anatomical location the particular radiograph belongs to either it is right or left based on the features of the teeth and the anatomical landmarks which are seen on the radiograph. The convex surface of this dot should be always facing the x-ray tube and the concave su surface or the side towards the patient tongue. The outer plastic wrapping is a waterproof material and hence protects the film from moisture and saliva. It is seen on both sides of the film. Moving on to the second component of the film packet. So inside this outer plastic wrapper, there is a light proof protective black wrapper or the paper on both sides which is wrapping the film. And this is used for preventing the light exposure and also to prevent the emulsion on the film from damages that is the physical damage. And the third component is the film itself which is present inside the black wrapper and it is the sensitive part that acts as the receptor which has the base, adhesive layer and an emulsion in it. The fourth component is a thin lead foil backing 
with an embossed pattern that is placed in the film packet behind the black wrapper away from the tube. This lead foil backing shields the film from backscattering that is the secondary radiation which fogs the film and reduces the contrast affecting the image quality. It also reduces the patient exposure by absorbing some amount of the residual beam. So when the film is placed wrongly like tube side towards the patient and label side towards the x-ray tube, it produces a characteristic light radiograph and also shows the embossing pattern in the lead foil. At last there are few hacks for you. So I am going to show you how to unwrap or open a x-ray film packet easily without any mistakes especially in a dark room which is used in a hospital or institutional setting. So first, after making the radiograph, always place the x-ray film clip near the embossing dot only and once you go inside a dark room, remove the x-ray film from the x-ray film clip, take the label side towards you by feeling the tongue like flap on top. Now calmly and carefully start to unwrap it. So hold the tongue like flap and raise it to unfold it opposite to you. Next unfold the black wrapper opposite to you. Then hold the lead foil backing in front and fold it towards you. Next fold the back side of the black wrapper towards you. Now you can see the somewhat white color film under the safe light. So clip the x-ray film clip on the upper left corner of the film and without touching the film with your fingers gently pull the film out by sliding to process it. Don't forget this mantra two flaps opposite to you and two flaps towards you. There you go. Thanks for watching this video and if you have felt this video informative kindly like and share the video and also consider subscribing the channel. Thank you.